All right, let's talk about piecewise functions. This is definitely the most difficult stuff for this week. Uh, look for also a video uh, to a uh, video, blah, blah, an example for me to appear on um, Blackboard uh, with this. With you know, just trying to get you guys to see how piecewise functions work. And honestly, guys, it goes back to what I'm always saying. It's in the English and teaching you guys how to read these darn things. Once I can teach you how to read them, uh, they all of a sudden start making sense. All right, so let's take this piecewise function. Okay, I want you to notice how I read it. If x is less than or equal to 2, then I'm going to use the function minus 2x plus 5. However, if x is greater than 2, I'm going to use the function x plus 1. All right, so let's find these function values. f of negative 1. If x is negative 1, is it less than or equal to 2, or is it greater than 2? And hopefully you all are saying, hey, it falls into this condition right here. It's less than 2, and so I'm going to plug it in to the top function. So I plug negative 1 into the top function, and I get 7. All right, what about f of 1? 1 also is less than 2. And so I'm going to, again, plug 1 into the top function and get 3. This one's tricky. What about f of 2? Of my two functions, which one can actually equal 2? And again, because of the inequality less than or equal to, it's the top function. And so I plug 2 into the top function, and I get 1. What about 4? For f of 4, you realize, hey, 4 is greater than 2. So we plug 4 into the bottom function and get 5. All right, hopefully this helps make evaluating piecewise functions a little bit easier. All right, now let's graph a couple. All right, so we have, again, our same function. How are we going to graph it? And I'm giving you guys the whole shebang, but we're going to take it piece by piece. All right, let's start with, and let me grab my pen. Let's start with if x is less than or equal to 2, I'm going to use the function negative 2x plus 5. So from 2 and then all of this, I'm going to use the line negative 2x plus 5. So I plug negative 1 into my function, all right, and I get 7. So note the green dot now. I plot that point. Plug in 0 and get 5. And plug in 2 and get 1. And I can connect those three dots, but I'm going to stop when I draw my line. When I draw my line, I'm going to stop right here at 2. Okay? Let's do the other half. All right, now let's graph when x is greater than 2, I'm going to use the function or line x plus 1. So parentheses here, that's parentheses, not brackets. All right, let's plot some points. Plug in 2 and get 3. Plug in 4 and get 5. Plug in 5 and get 6. And again, I can connect my dots and draw my function. All right, just keep in mind that's an open circle on the 2 because we can't actually plug in 2. All right, and so here's our final graph of plotting and graphing the piecewise function. Okay, is the graph continuous? No, there's a break in the graph at 2. We actually call that a jump. And so we're continuous on the domain intervals, negative infinity to 2, bracket on the 2 because of the closed interval, union, parentheses 2, to infinity. All right, again, I'll try to put another example up on Blackboard.